Their PR department is hard at work over at Fox, working their magic for the Murdochs, planting, spreading. These are hit jobs, and they are pros at hit jobbing. Make no mistake of that. The attacks are not just professional, they're fiercely personal. It's ugly. And now we know what colors Fox wears. And none of them seem to be red, white, or blue. It's always fun to watch someone like Eric Bowling criticize Fox News, considering he was ousted by the network amidst sexual harassment allegations. And being the grifter that he is, you can be sure that he'll jump on any opportunity to go after his former employer. My audience now is realizing that Fox News started to move left. They wanted to be centered. They wanted to cast a, a wide net to, to bring in more liberal voices, to bring in more progressives, to maybe get more progressive viewers. And they got it, but the expense of the MAGA and the true conservatives. I'm Ravana, and welcome back to Rebel HQ. Come on, Eric, what are you even talking about? Which progressive voters are watching Fox News? to get information. Just an absolutely ridiculous statement. And you know that. You know, it's not just Fox News, of course. It's, it's these corporate owned, woke, disconnected elites who uh, call the shots in mainstream media. And they look at us as just the peons, just the subjects. I love to see the former governor of Alaska on the news with her massive mansion in the background comparing herself to the average American. These bozos have absolutely no self-awareness. And perhaps people would perceive me as being biased though when we speak of Fox, because I got canned too. And um, I don't want to, uh, I, I, I don't want to interject any of my bias in the way that they operate. But I will tell you one thing about uh, the way they operate. When I was uh, informed that I was no longer working for them, I wasn't even informed. They didn't have the guts to call me. They called my now ex-husband. And I thought that was really weird and weak. And um, I just said I wouldn't speak ill of them, but I just spoke ill of them, yes. It's amazing how both Eric Bowling and Sarah Palin are using their airtime on Newsmax to complain about how they were fired from Fox News. While I was there 11 years, while I was there, it, it always represented all of the gamut of conservative voices. For some reason, they thought it was a good idea to move their target from conservative, the wide, the full target being conservative voices and audience, to somehow capture more. They got greedy. They wanted more. They wanted leftists. They wanted centrists. They wanted leftists, too. They wanted to be ABC, I guess. And in, they underestimated the actual true conservative voices. And then this whole firing of Tucker. I believe they think they'll recover from Tucker the way they recovered from Bill O'Reilly, Eric Bowling, and Megyn Kelly. Maybe oh. not this time. Eric can't stop talking about how Fox News kicked him to the curb. It's been over six years and your career has only become more and more pathetic. You went from being a right-wing grifter on Fox News to being a right-wing grifter on Newsmax who grifts about other right-wing grifters who he thinks have wronged him. And that's how we end up with situations like this, where we see right-wingers attacking one another. But honestly, hey, I say let him fight.